Hello, boys and girls. Hello, boys and girls. And stingray parents. And stingray parents. Today we're going to show you. Today we're going to show you how to find the area. How to find the area of the shaded region. And the shaded region of geometric figures. Of geometric figures. Close enough. Close enough. Let's get started and have some fun. Let's get some started and have fun. Yep. Bye-bye. 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 Hello, boys and girls. Um, today we are going to take a look at how to find the area of shaded regions. Okay, and you'll see these on the EOGs. You'll definitely see them on the upcoming Case 21s, and you'll see them on my tests as well. Um, what a shaded region is, they'll give you a geometric shaped figure, and usually inside that geometric figure, there's another geometric figure. Okay, but then what they'll have is they'll have this negative space or this shaded area, and they'll say, what's the area of that? And, and the first thing you probably think is, well, Mr. Yerrick never taught me how to find the area of a shape like that. No. But if we can identify the shapes within the shape, we'll get somewhere. Okay, for example, we can all see that this is a square. It's a square. Okay, we have a four-sided figure. Um, and I'm telling you that all the angles are 90 degrees. All the angles are 90 degrees, and all the sides are equal. That's what these little marks mean, so they're all equal. So the first shape I've identi identified is there's a square. And inside the square, we have not a circle, but a half circle. Okay, so the two shapes that we're working with is a square and a half circle. So far, pretty simple. Let's look at the next step. Okay. Next step is we want to find the areas of the shapes. Areas of the shapes. Okay, I'll probably have to edit this out. Okay, I'm back. And I'll have to edit that out. I'm back. Okay, here we go. We need to find the area of the shapes. Well, the first shape, which was a half circle, they tell us that the radius is, is 3. Okay? And if you have the radius of a circle, we, there's no problem. You can, find, you can find the area. It's simply pi times r squared. So pi, we know, is approximately 3.14. Okay? The radius is 3. So we're going to multiply that by 3 to the second power. And 3 to the second power, 3 times 3 is 9. So when we take 3, and we turn on our calculator, and we have 3.14 times 9, that's going to be equal to 28 and 26 hundredths, okay, units squared. Um, but once again, we don't have a, in this shape here, we had a half circle, not a circle. We just want to know what what the area is of a half circle. So we need to divide this by 2. And when we divide it by 2, we will get 14 and 13 hundredths units squared. There we are. Now the next shape is a lot simpler. We have a square. And looking at our first shape, remember, if you remember that this, this half circle was embedded inside here. Okay, it was, if you remember, it kind of came around like this. Okay, and, and if, if, if the radius, okay, if the radius is 3, that means half the diameter is 3, what then is the diameter? Well, the diameter has to be 6. So if the diameter is 6, that's the length of that side, which is also the length of that side, which is also the length of that side. They're all 6. It's a square. And we know that the area of a square is base times height, which is 6 times 6. And all the sides are the same, so it's, it's really um, the side squared, the, you know, because all the sides are the same. So the area is going to equal 36, okay, 6 times 6. So there we have the area of the half circle is 14 and 13 hundredths units squared, and the area of the square is 36 units squared. Let's see what the last and final step is. Aha! Okay, now maybe this lays it out really nice. If you remember back, we want to know the shaded region. We just want the area of the shaded region. How do we get the shaded region? We take the rectangle, 
and we subtract the half circle from it. Okay, we take the area of the rectangle, which was, which is 36. Okay, and then we take the half circle away from it, and its area was 14 and 13 hundredths units squared. And when we take this away, what are we left with? We're left with the shaded region. See, it's really not that tricky. It's not that complicated. You've got to manipulate the information that they've given you and make it work for you. So the third step is simply find the difference between the two shapes. And then you're left with the shaded area. So you take 36 units squared, and we subtract 14 and 13 hundredths units squared. When we do that, okay, we're going to have to put two zeros there as placeholders. We're going to also have to do some regrouping. Um, the zero will have to borrow from the six, and it becomes a five. This becomes a ten temporarily, then a nine, and ten. Okay, there we go. So now ten minus three is seven. Nine minus one is eight. Five minus four is one. Three minus one is two. So the area of our shaded region is 21 and 87 hundredths units squared. Pretty cool. I like these problems. Finding the area of the shaded region. Once again, let's go over the steps. The first step was identify the shapes that are in your geometric figure. Okay? Once you do that, you need to find the area of the shapes. Okay? And after you find the area of those geometric shapes, when you take the difference or find the difference between the shapes, we take the rectangle, and we, which was actually, was actually a square. When we take the square, subtract the, cir the area of the circle from it, what are we left with? We're left with the shaded region. Okay? You kind of have to train your eyes to begin to see things in this way. Manipulate the geometric information to help you. Okay, well, I hope this was a help to you, and I will see you tomorrow in school. Bye-bye.